This report brought to you by the Richmond Club, where investors and high growth companies meet. Thanks, Chris. Our next speaker is the Vice President of Investor Relations and Communications for Mag Silver Corp. Please welcome Mr. Michael Kerlick. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you very much for coming. As uh, Greg said, my name is Michael Kerlick, and I'm just going to take a few moments of your time today to talk to you about Mag Silver. I'm going to talk about two things. I'm going to talk about the current value of the company. And then I'm going to talk about the value going forward uh, from an exploration point of view, because that's what we are. We're explorationists. So let's get going. So everyone has these cautionary uh, look at forward-looking statement uh, pages uh, at the beginning of their presentations. Uh, we, uh, we like to talk about ours. And the reason we like to talk about ours is because, as I said, we are explorationists. And what we like to do is we like to put a, a, a geological theory out there and we like to say we're going to find it, but we're not so sure. What's happened over the last 18 years is we've put out a lot of these forward-looking statements, and uh, much to our advantage, a lot of them have turned into facts. So we're quite happy to talk about them. So with no further ado, I'm going to start talking about MAG. MAG is the highest grade developing silver asset in the world today. We're going to get into production by the end of next year, the end of 2020. We have 86 million shares out, and we're a multi, well, $1.3 billion company. We're not multi-billion dollar yet, but we're 1.3. We're very strong financially. We have 114 million US in the bank, and we have no debt. We're covered by a number of analysts. So any of you who are uh, acutely attuned to the uh, the uh, perspective of uh, PNAVs and analysis. You can talk to any of these guys, get any of the reports, you can ask me for them. And as you can see, you can take the top guys out of there and the bottom guys out of there, and you have an average of $20 per share Canadian. We're currently trading at about 15, just so you know. We're also very, very fortunate to have quite a stellar group of shareholders. 90%, almost 90% of our shareholders are institutions, specific precious metals guys. They, most of them have been with us for probably 12, 13, 10 years, and they're happy to stay with us. We've increased value over a long period of time. They've seen that potential value, they see the current value, and they see the value going forward. So I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. In fact, any time they've wanted us to finance, they've always wanted to come in pro rata. The only challenge they have is they buy as much as they can within the fund, within the parameters of that fund, and we start going up, and they have to sell because they're over their allotment percentage-wise for the fund. That's their only challenge. So what is MAG? MAG is a company that started in 2000, and we, we, we wanted to pursue high-grade silver, and I mean high-grade a high margin, so we want to make money. We don't want to just be buying things, M&A, and just growing and growing the company, not giving a return. And of course, it has to be district scale because mining is a high capital intensive business. So you want that return for a long period of time. Of course, when you're looking for silver, the first place you go in the world is Mexico. It's the preeminent area for silver in the world. And when you are looking, or when you do find silver in Mexico, you find it zinc, lead, and of course gold along with it, and we have found all. Currently, we have 145 million ounces of silver at 550 grams per ton. What does that mean? The average grade of a, mine, a silver producer today is about 175 grams per ton. So you can do the math. We have an additional 40 million ounces at 650 grams per ton. And that's not to mention the gold, which we have 1.5 million ounces of gold. And as you can see, the lead and zinc just goes off the chart. We're, we're over uh, three, billion ounce, three billion pounds of lead and zinc, and we don't even count the copper yet. So things are going very well for MAG. As I mentioned, we have a strong uh, financial position. But one of the things is, is about making that money. We have an after-tax IRR of 44%. We have a 19-year mine life at 4,000 tons a day. I'll give you some perspective of that later on in the presentation. 
The other thing that's really key about us is we don't own the, the asset 100% anymore. What we've done at an early stage back in 2005 is we partnered with the world's largest primary silver producer. Its name is Fresnillo. It's a Mexican company, and they're the wa world's largest. They're about an $8 billion company right, right about now. And they are going to build and operate the facility for us. And it's called Juan Escipio. As you can see, that's how you pronounce it, the Juan Escipio JV. So <clears throat> that's MAG to a degree. But there's also, as I said, in the second half of this presentation, I'm going to talk about the upside of the company. So let's continue. Just a quick reiteration of, of, the, of the significance of the asset here. It's 550 grams per ton for the first part. 650 for the second and then we have a lower zone what we actually found was we were going to bring in that pink zone into production it has gold two grams gold through it and five and a half percent lead zinc but we, we drilled lower in 2015 and we, we thought we what you do in engineering or what you do in mining is you have to find out what you're working with and so you kind of drill all around it to find out that's the extent of it what happened to us is we thought it stopped there in 2015 it just continued and we just keep, keep drilling and drilling where we are and we keep finding more and more. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you a, a, a picture in the future or a slide in the future where we've only explored 5% of this property. That's 16 kilometers long and 7 kilometers wide and we have a billion dollar asset. So there's a lot of upside. So where are we? We're in Mexico. If you're looking for uh, silver in the world, you want to go to Mexico, there are 15 billion plus ounce assets in the world. Eight of them are in Mexico and four of them are in this Fresnillo uh, silver trend. And as you can see, we're surrounded in concessions by Fresnillo. We're right in the middle of their property and probably in one of the best places too. This just hones into the upper right hand corner of, of where we are, gives you an idea. The Fresnillo mine there off to the upper right is, was the world's largest primary silver producer. Uh, as, as far as a mine, and as you can see, in 2011, they produce 30 million ounces a year. But what happens is these vertical epithermal vein systems, where it's just a geological term, is the silver is high content at the top, and as you mine down, the silver wanes and the base metals come in. And that's what they've been doing. They've been mining there for a long time. You can see in 2018, they're down to half. The Sacido mine is now the leading silver mine in the world. Again, it's under Fresnillo's control and, and they own it 100%. But that has also been an operation for six years. And they're starting, their grades are starting to get down into the 240s and the 235s. So what do they do next? They have to go to the next one that's super. And that's us. And that's what they're doing. Now, as you can see, the, the, all those red lines are basically the vein structures that we have found and they're ultimately going to be mined or have been mined. And this area is very significant as well because they've been mining here, Fresnillo, for 130 years, but they've been mining here for 500 years. So it's kind of the place to be. So let's just look again in that corner, but I'm giving you an idea of what it looks like underground. The red is what we're going to mine now at 4,000 tons a day and just a little bit of the blue. What we're doing is we, we, every time we keep drilling and drilling deeper, and as you can see on the bottom it says open, it's open at depth and it's open at east and west. We sink another drill hole, we find more. We sink another drill hole, we keep finding more. What that means is it just makes your mine ultimately profit, more profitable and, because it's there for a longer period of time and you already have that established capex in there. So when are we going into production? Well, we started back in 2013, finished the first decline by 2016, finished the second decline by 2018. We're doing all the ventilation, all the underground workings, all those kinds of things. Basically what you do is build a lot of tunnels underneath there. And you also have to buy the, the big machinery for the mill on surface. And that's a key thing to, doing, to developing your, your, um, your mine on time. Because they're so big and they're made all over the world, you have to order them a year in advance in order to meet your, your execution of building your mine on time. And we did that. We, do, we ordered them last December. So we're going to be in production, as you can see there, the end of 2020. This just gives you an idea. We kind of call it a spider web, but this is all the tunneling underneath. And uh, we're also going to tunnel or convey the ore out uh, underground. We're not going to truck it. Now, we show you this for uh, 
You're probably not miners, but this uh, basically looks like a Swiss tunnel. And this is not what an underground tunnel usually looks like. The reason we show this is to show the commitment to the project, because you don't build something indestructible like this and, and wonderful like this unless you're going to have a long mine life. The quality of it is second to none with a 25 centimeter concrete base. You won't see that too often. And the cost. Fresneo does this at about half the cost of what a North American company would do it for. So as well as it being great, the cost is minimal or relatively minimal. These are just some pictures of the development to show you that they're actually uh, working on, on things. This is where the site and where they're going to build the plant. And I'm going to show you a quick video here. Uh, spin the, the resource so you can understand. So we zoom in here to, on, from Google. Off to the right you can see the Sacido mine there operating at 9,000 tons a day. You zoom in a little quicker here. You've got uh, the uh, double decline or the two portals going in. We're going to scooch down underneath. That's the whole asset. Of course it's open at depth uh, to the left, to the right and, and down. And the Bonanza zone is what's going to go into production with a little bit of the deep zone. It's 1.2 kilometers at the top, 2 kilometers at the bottom. It's very, very huge. And uh, these other uh, veins, the yellow one there, the Juanicipio, are not in the project. That is added mineralization going forward. We'll just spin you around again. And you can see, of course, the, uh, the decline and how we're going to uh, come down the top right along the whole horizontal. And that's how we're going to basically mine it. <clears throat> and I'm uh, slowly running out of time here, so I'm just, and here's the conveyor as you can see, it goes, that dot red, green dotted line goes to the surface, all underground security and very, very easy for upscaling the mine if it ever decides to get bigger, which we have a very high level of confidence that is actually going to exceed the 4,000 tons a day that we're currently looking at. We keep finding, as I mentioned, we keep finding mineralization, we're drilling down below and we keep finding, but recently, we found a new type of mineralization first time in the history of the area. We always found these, and Fresnil always found these veins going east-west. So two years ago, our geologist in-house actually started to see trendings going north-south. We drilled that, <clears throat> and we found two veins. We call them Venatus 1 and Venatus 2, those two gray ones off to the left. We actually think there's a, a third vein, Venatus 3, and that's because, I don't have enough time to explain, but take my word for it at this point, relative to our, uh, our confirmation that we have these three veins, well, these two veins and the possibility of a third. That just adds more mineralization, more profitability, longer mine life, more cash flow down the road. But why is that so significant? It's because what I was talking about, the geological upside of this property. Basically, over here, this on the left-hand side, this is a drill point that we had when we drilled first in 2003. In 2003, we had two holes. We had the one we hit on and the other one here, Sessantoni. We've never been able to drill it because we can't get away from finding. But now, we've convinced Fresnil to do that, and we're looking at drilling that next year. So there's huge potential going forward there. And I'll just finish up with the other thing that we've identified is we've identified what we call the source, the upwelling fluid zone for the region right on our property. And that's why we have all these structural intersections of mineralization where we are. But what we believe is there are more upwelling fluid zones on our property. Can't get into the geological justification of that at this point, but we have a prob probability of finding more on the property. So just to close, MAG is a billion dollar company with 5% of the property explored only. It's a high grade, district scale company. We have $114 million in the bank. We have no debt. We're going into production next year. And of course, we have those three upsides of drilling right where we're, fi where we're mining, or going to be mining, excuse me, I have to be correct. The north-south structures, and of course, the upwelling fluid zones. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know. You've been watching the Richmond Club Report. If you've just come across this channel, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm sure you'll find a lot of interesting and lucrative investment and trading ideas around here. We'll see you again soon on the next video. Cheers, guys. Have an amazing and profitable day.